Hi friends, I hope you are doing well. Today I have another magical unboxing for you. It is the quarterly special edition box from the Wizarding Trunk. And let me tell you, the Wizarding Trunk is doing great. They are doing such great magical themes. They have amazing items, very unique, also high quality. And every time I get my Wizarding Trunk, I just get very excited. And this time the theme is Mischief. Mich mischief managed <laughs> so it's all about fred and george weasley and at the end of this video i really want to unbox this item that i bought at storia e magia in italy rome and if you like this kind of content then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again let's get unboxing here it is, the Fragile Magical Delivery, and somehow I avoided all spoilers because this box has literally just arrived. It went through customs, they held it for like a week or maybe even two weeks, and then it finally got to me. So that's the reason why I'm pretty late with this unboxing. But as I said, I had no spoilers, so I'm really, really curious to see what they put inside this box. When we open the box, there's a really colorful spoiler card on top. Beneath that, is that a quill and loads of other items? Before I grab the first item, I want to say thank you to my patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you feel like it is something for you, head over to patreon.com, type in my name, Leanna Brooks, or click on the link in my description. Over at my Patreon, you can find exclusive content like videos, photos, polls, stuff like that. And it's just also a really fun way to connect with you guys and just chat with you. So if that sounds like something for you, definitely click on the link in my description. Let's put this really fun spoiler card aside for now. I really want to grab one of the colorful boxes. So I have got this one. Wither Shins Stink Pellets. What a stench. Oh, I love this. This box. I'm gonna hold on to this because this looks like it actually came from Weasley's Wizards Wheezes. Wither Shins Stink Pellets are perfect for pranking your friends or teachers. No one will suspect such a stench from such brightly colored balls. I am so excited to see how this looks. This is going to be a practical item or a replica. Oh, could this be maybe a little bath bombs? So we've got a orange, a yellow, a red, and a purple ball. They don't smell bad. I mean, I have to check the spoiler card to be sure, but I feel like it's something you can use. And I mean, it's so colorful and I love the box that they came in. Great start to the box. Let's go for this quill next. Ah, I get it now. This one says a Wither Shins Presents. I think that is their code name for Weasley's Wizard Weezes because that is probably another trademark from Warner Brothers, so you can't use that name. And this is quite funny because I recognize this quill. If you've seen my unboxing from Once Upon a Book Club, they did this Bridgerton box with the first three books and loads of gifts. And one of the gifts was a quill. And I'm pretty sure this came from the same shop because it has the exact same design. Ah, it's the autofill quill. And I love that they went with an orange feather. I don't know if everyone got the same color, but that's definitely a Weasley's color. Oh my gosh, I see another very exciting box. I hope that this is what I think it is. It says eavesdrop ear. Leave this ear lying around for hours of eavesdropping. Place it over your own ear to hear all the conversations you missed. I love these boxes. They did an amazing job with packaging their items. Oh, let's see. I love this. This is a great replica. I actually have another replica. It's from Geeky Wizardry. So they made this smaller mini replica. And this comes a little bit closer to the original. What am I going to do with all my extendable ears? <laughs> I love this. It is such an iconic item and definitely something you should put in a Weasley's Wizard Reese's box. Wittershins. A Wittershins joke shop box. Can you tell that I'm loving this box? I am so excited about this box. This is this is really wonderful. This is why I stay subscribed to certain magical boxes. The next item, what could this be? Ooh, do we have a potion? Oh, 
that is so cool. It says metamorph mixture to aid transforming from human into animal. It's by Pure Blood Apothecary and this label looks insane. There's a little charm with half a human head and half a wolf's head, this pretty bronze wax seal, and inside a mixture of purple and gold that looks freaking amazing. <laughs> this is such an amazing potion. I love it. They've been killing it with their potions lately. In one of my latest haul videos, I ordered some items from Wizarding Trunk and I got their Daydream potion. Perfect. So perfect. Ah, oh, I cannot wait to display this potion. There are a bunch of paper items at the bottom of the box, so let's go for one of those. That's fun. So they actually made a postcard out of the spoiler card. I thought the spoiler card had a really fun and colorful print, so I'm excited to see that they made a postcard out of it. A joy for the mischief in you. A looking bomb that goes off with a bang. <laughs> use at your own risk. And at the back it has some magical stamps. Another paper replica and this one is a joke shop catalog. I'm so impressed with their paper replicas lately. This is exactly how I imagined a catalog made by Fred and George Weasley. A bit chaotic and filled with fun items. There's the biting boomerang, poltergeist dice, a shrinking shortcake, lemon dream pie, inflating flan, spy specters, itching ointments, misery mask, and at the back it says items for mischief makers of all sorts. We also offer owl order delivery. Dispatch same day guaranteed or you'll get a biting boomerang on us. There are so many items in this box. I am so impressed. Next up is a pin and I've already had a sneak peek. Oh my gosh. I love it. I freaking love it. So we got an Umbridge pin, but this is actually the doll, the Umbridge doll that is cycling in the shop. I mean, not only does this pin look amazing, the little wheel actually spins. And I love the backing card. This is without a doubt my new favorite pin. I have found another box and this one says, Biting Boomerang. Another really colorful and fun design. At the back it says Biting Boomerang is a game of chance. Catch it just right or it might take a bite out of whatever it touches. Caution, a dragon hide glove is recommended to avoid injury while using this product. It's another replica. It looks like an alien. That looks so good you guys. The person that made this is so talented. This is gonna look so cool on my shelves. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this. Next up is this little bottle and this says it is Poltergeist repellent. This all natural poistergeist repellent can be used around school to keep the resident poltergeist away from you. It also works great at repelling pesky bugs and insects. I can definitely smell the peppermints. This is something I could have used on my trip to Italy because let me tell you, I was stung so many times by mosquitoes. In almost every picture, both my legs and my arms are filled with red dots. <laughs> This is going with me on my next trip. We have got another paper replica and I think I know what this is. Or do I? At the top it says Malum Integrum and then it has four paw prints. So those are definitely the Marauders. Oh, I get it now. It says names are being scrambled needs work. JP, James Potter. So this was the first draft of the Marauders map. Any ideas for what we should call this magical map? Remus Lupin, the mischief map, Peter Pettigrew. I prefer we be known more as bandits or pirates rather than simple mischief makers. Sirius Black. Another great idea from the Wizarding Trunk. I thought that was everything, but there's still one more item left in this box. This box literally keeps on giving. All oh, right, it's another one of their keys. So far, we've gotten a key in every box. I have one from the Yule Ball, from Hagrid's Hut, a Thestor key, and this time it's a key from the Shrieking Shack. And I think this part beneath it might be the Whomping Willow. And there's this little charm that has the four paw prints. Even though I really love these items because I think all the keys are great quality, I don't really know what to do with them. So I would love for the Wizarding Trunk to make something in which we can display all the keys. Maybe a little cabinet or key stands. Something like that would be awesome. That was everything in the Mischief Manage box. 
Wow, I can honestly say that the Wizarding Trunk is one of my favorite boxes at the moment. Let's take a look at this a wonderful spoiler card. We got a total of 11 items in this box. I'm not going to read everything to you guys, so if you want to read this spoiler card, you can just pause the screen. But let's quickly check if we missed anything. Oh, that's fun. The catalog contains some of our past items. I've noticed that, like the Daydream Potion and items that you may just see in future boxes. Boxes. That's exciting. I was really curious to read about the stink palettes. I don't think it will be a good idea to drop them in the bath because it doesn't say that they are bath bombs. So they are really just display items. If you know the answer, let me know in the comments. Magical map prototype. This is a prototype of a magical map. Be careful when using it. Not all the boxes are worked out. I am blown away by this box. It is so worth it. Everything is done so well. There's so much attention to detail and somehow they have managed to keep it fresh and unique. I had so many favorites. I really, I really can't choose a favorite. I'm gonna go for a least favorite even though I don't really have one. And for me that's the quill. I really love the idea that it's an autofill quill. The only reason that this is my least favorite item is because I have got the exact same quill in my Bridgerton box. So it's still a really good item. <laughs> Definitely let me know your thoughts on this box. I mean, I just can't picture people saying that this wasn't a great box. And let me know your favorite of this box. I also really wanted to share the item that I bought in Italy. I just realized that my camera was zoomed in the entire time. I mean, I knew there was something wrong with it because I was so close to the camera. You would think that after two years on YouTube, I wouldn't make those mistakes anymore, but apparently I do. Anyways, back to the item. I've forgotten how good this item looks. So this this was an amazing shop in Rome. It was this fantasy shop. I dragged my brother and my boyfriend into the shop. I even filmed a tour of the shop for my patrons. They had this entire room filled with fairy statues and gnomes and there were plants hanging from the ceiling. They had Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Game of Thrones and of course an entire room dedicated to Harry Potter. They had a couple of discontinued items like Mad-Eye Moody staff but what really caught my eye was this. It is a beautiful shop sign of Diagon Alley. I have always wanted something like this, but it was their last one and it's damaged. So there's a spot over here and then here on the side. I honestly didn't mind because I just thought that added to the authenticity because it is a shop sign. So it's supposed to look a little bit weathered, but I made this really sad face and they gave me a very good discount. I bought this for 30 euros. That's quite cheap. And I mean, look at it. It looks amazing, right? And I just pictured this inside the hallway when you were walking towards the Harry Potter room or maybe next to the bookcases. I don't know yet, but it's gonna look amazing. It has the entire map of Diagon Alley. It says we are at the Leaky Cauldron and the iconic golden hand is at the bottom. Let me know what you guys think of this item. Is it something you already have in your collection or something you want to add to your collection? I absolutely love it. And that was everything I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.